He had laser cap slot on me. I do an awful lot of these. It's not actually very technically challenging, but it's bread and butter stuff. What happens is, when we take your cataract out for you, if you imagine the lens is like a Smartie inside the eye, it's got a clear cellophane bag all the way around it. We rip a hole in the front of that cellophane bag, eat away the chocolatey bit, and slide your brand new lens back into that bag. So your new lens sits within that clear bag and rests on the back surface of that clear bag. As we get older, unfortunately, those cells that were in that bag start to regenerate and grow again. So they grow again and they form a sheet and it's like frosted glass developing behind the lens itself. So you gradually start seeing glare again, you gradually start seeing everything looking a bit misty and a bit hazy. It happens in about 25 to 30% of patients who have cataract surgery and more often in younger people. It's not a complication, it's actually virtually normal for you to have it done. It's easily remediable as well. We sit you on a machine like the slit lamp which we examine you on and then we put a little contact lens on the eye, zap, zap, zap with the laser and that creates a gap to let the light through again. If you imagine it's a sheet of tissue paper, we go zap, 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 zap and the middle bit just falls away and disappears. So you see a floaty bit in the early stages and that's normal but that gradually dissipates and slowly but steadily your vision improves again. Once you've had it done you don't need it done again. It's a very safe procedure to have done. Very rarely you can have a bit of inflammation, a bit of a pressure rise, but it's usually self-limiting and doesn't cause any major issues. If you're very short-sighted, very, very rare, if you were very short-sighted before the operation, very, very rarely you can get problems with the retina. So you do need to be vigilant. New onset of a hail of tadpole floaters, not the single floater which you'll see. Sudden onset of flashing lights, any solid curtain across your peripheral vision, it's really important you report it. It's very safe to have done. We sort it out all the time. It's only about a 10 minute job even if we do both eyes for you. There's a different form of YAG laser and that is where we make little holes in the iris called the YAG laser peripheral iridotomy. This is for patients who have narrow drainage angles inside the eye and at a risk of angle closure glaucoma. Again, it's done at the same machine with a little contact lens on the eye. It's about a five minute job each eye. You can get inflammation, you can get a pressure rise. So in this case, we give you some drops to use afterwards. And you can very rarely get a little hemorrhage, which is self-limiting. We put a bit of pressure on the eye and that sorts it out for you. It's really only for patients who are at risk of angle closure and we sort it out and we have to bring you back to the clinic to keep a check on the pressure. YAG laser is very safe and sound. It's a very quick procedure and it's not very technically challenging, but I do an awful lot of it and I'm more than happy to look after you.